So in this, uh, in the previous case, uh, we have seen the quick sort algorithm, how it executes for the data, this. So now just I have drawn a tree, recursive tree. So initially we find uh, uh, this as a pivot element and then we move it to its correct place. Then after that we split this, uh, this portion one thing, 6 has find its place and 11 will go there. Then before the pivot element, this value will be taken up, that is 0 to 2, and after this value will be taken up 4 to 9. Then we again 0 to 2 split, and this will be a taken as a pivot element, and it's correct, it's, it finds its correct place. And then 2, uh, here we take that 0, 0, and this we will take as 2, 2. This will be split. So, and then within that, so that each has only one element. So already three will be three will be after that three will find its place. So two comes here, five goes there. Then again they will be sorted. So then here in this side, if you take twelve to eleven, here at eleven we take it as a pivot element, and then we check each time since it is a small and then it find its place. That is here, it find its correct place. So before that again we split. After this also we split. So four to six and eight to nine. Then 4 to 6 again, we take this as the uh, element, then we try to split. 4 to 5, that is, uh, then 7 to 6, this take it as a pivot value. So we put these two are not valid. So and this is already in the sorted order, so we get back the same answer. Here this is a not valid. Then here quick sort, if you take this uh, 8, 9, after this 8 and 9, uh, the remaining these two elements. Then we finally we swap them and then here when we again split it becomes 8 and 7 which is not valid here 9 9 only one element so finally when we combine all this the quick sort once it has found its correct place our final array will be the in the sorted order so here it will be overwritten the array the self array will be used for sorting so there is no extra array uh, we are using it so here let us go to the uh, analysis part. Yeah, the pivot chosen by the partition function is always either the small or the largest element of the n element summary. Then one of the partitions will contain no elements and the other partitions will contain n minus 1 elements, all but the pivot. So here, so the recursive call will be on subarray size 0 and n minus 1. So now we have seen the worst case because uh, as I said, only one element, zeroth element, depending upon the partition element, what we are taking, the division may be the first uh, half may consist of uh, zero, that is the first element only. Other than that, maybe in the next thing, because we start from zero to n, that is why it is n. Uh, or else you can take it as one and n minus one. So here, n, zero, that is also one element. And then other than that, uh, zero index. So here n minus one. Again, in this also, since we have taken here one, we have adopted one strategy. So same strategy will be adopted here also. So here also again it will be a uh, only one element in one partition, and uh, all the other elements will be in the other partition. So if we take the total partition time for all sub problems is C n C into n minus one, because this is only one value. So we have to consider this. <coughs> n minus 2, n minus 3, and so on, and zero. So big goal notation, the worst case in this case is uh, n square. Then best case running time. Here if you take, it is similar to our quick uh, merge sort, where if we select the partition algorithm, partition that is pivot element correctly, then it will be equally divided. The best case occurs when the partitions are here. The quick sort best case occurs when the partitions are evenly balanced as possible. So it is similar to a merge sort. So here order uh, here also we will have the same uh, running. Just like this is not worst case. This is sorry. Here I have written this wrongly, but it is uh, best case. Here it is best case. So here it is n log to n. The former case occurs if the subarray. Uh, has an odd number of elements and the pivot is right in the middle after partition so, and each partition has n minus 1 by 2 elements 
the latter case occurs. That is, what do you mean by the forward case and latter case? So, for example, if there are even number of one, then uh, when you divide, say, for example, eight elements are there, when you divide the eight elements, uh, one side will become a, uh, that is, uh, if you take the first half as four, second half as four, but you can't divide exactly like that. The Maybe the fourth element, if you take the fourth element as the pivot element, then the first half will consist of only three elements and second half will consist of four elements. That's what meaning if it is an even number, then the partition, there will be slight different. But if there is an odd number, say for example, nine elements are there, then if you take the middle element to be the pivot element, fifth element, then the first partition will consist of exactly four and second half four. So if that happens then and there, again and again. So it depends upon how you are splitting. So the former case occurs if the subarray has an odd number of elements and the pivot is right in the middle after partitioning and each partition has n minus 1 by 2. That's what given here, n by 2, n by 2, n by 4. Then n by 2 when again divide n by 4. Less than or equal to why it is given as, say for example, 9 elements is, 5th element is taken as pivot element. In the next thing it will be become an even number. So where again the partition of 4 will be splitted as 1 and 2. Or 2, 1, 1, like that. So that is why it is given as less than or equal to. So the same thing in this side also. So finally, you will have this uh, constant and then n. So you have the same since we are dividing exactly, we are taking the middle value and we are dividing exactly the partitions. We have n log 2 n, which is similar to your merge sort. Average case running time of quick sort. Here, average case. Uh, let's imagine that we don't always get evenly balanced to partition. That's that. But that we always get a worst case of 3 to 1 split. So, that, for example, 1 by 4 this side and remaining 3 by 4. Just like how the previous uh, thing I have explained, previous uh, video, I have explained 9 elements. That the 9 elements, the first part when during partition, the pivot element is moved in such a way that uh, it, 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 it occupy the fourth value so that the partition takes place first three elements and then the remaining five elements there also so three by fourth is in the next one and one by three one by fourth is in the first partition so this is what this will happen in each and every way so that is what given here so here also finally the uh, average running time is n log to n